Robotnik asked Shadow to join forces with him and help take over the world. But deep down inside, Shadow knew it wasn't what he wanted and refused the offer firmly. Robotnik laughed at his refusal and activated his giant Mecha suits in an attempt to put an end to their conversation once and for all. Before anyone could begin to comprehend what happened next, they witnessed Robotnik's head being crushed within Shadow's grip like a piece of a melon. We obviously couldn't be any more excited for the third installment in the Sonic the Hedgehog cinematic franchise. We've had many of our own predictions when it comes to the third movie, but we wanted to turn to someone without bias and expectations. That's why we are asking AI to write Sonic the Hedgehog 3. So, before AI eventually takes over computing, our jobs and entertainment as we know it, Let's have some fun with it. This is AI's scriptwriter. We are now rendering your feature presentation. Sit back and relax. Hand yourself over to a higher being. This is the artificial intelligent scriptwriter. The scene opens up to a dark, dreary laboratory in an unnamed city. Scientists. Wearing white lab coats are bustling back and forth between different stations, surrounded by monitors and machines of all shapes and sizes. In the center of it all stands a large metallic capsule with tubes running out from every side. A metallic step can be heard approaching. A mecha comes into focus, flanked by a man the audience will know as Agent Stone. They stride over to one of the scientists working near the capsule and demand for them to open it immediately. The scientist presses a few buttons on their console before stepping away nervously. As the doors hiss open, everyone looks inside apprehensively as smoke billows out from within the chamber revealing what appears to be an anthropomorphic hedgehog half covered in mechanical parts emerging from its depths. This is quite clearly and quite plainly Shadow the Hedgehog. After taking a moment to survey his surroundings, he jumps down onto the ground gracefully before turning around slowly towards the mecha. But as Shadow got closer, he noticed something strange about the robot's visor. It was winding down. The mecha suit opened up and revealed an unexpected surprise. Instead of a robot or cyborg inside, there stood only Dr. Robotnik's head. It appeared that during his battles with Supersonic, Dr. Robotnik had lost his body. Understanding why Dr. Robotnik sought revenge on Sonic, and all other hedgehogs in general became clear in that moment. Without a physical form to inhabit, Dr. Robotnik needed someone else's help if he wanted any chance of survival at all. He begged Shadow for assistance and promised him anything in return if only Shadow would take pity on him and grant this favor. Shadow could join forces with him and help him take over the world. But deep down inside, Shadow knew it wasn't what he wanted and refused the offer firmly. Robotnik laughed at his refusal and activated his giant Mecha suits in an attempt to put an end to their conversation once and for all. Shadow quickly ran towards it to face off against its massive size and strength head on. Before anyone could begin to comprehend what happened next, they witnessed Robotnik's head being crushed within Shadow's grip like a piece of a melon, proving just how strong Shadow truly is. I'll never be controlled by you or by any Robotnik ever again, declared Shadow loudly after throwing Robotnik's remains away from himself into the distance. Shadow looks around at Agent Stone, Robotnik's former lover who is quivering in fear. Shadow's eyes were cold and calculating as he said one word, pathetic. Without another word spoken between them, Shadow turned around and walked away into the darkness. My name is Shadow dot 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 and I will have my revenge. The film finally fades out to the title card that reads, Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and the Wachowski family were having a great time at the bowling alley. Sonic thought he had just thrown a strike with his signature spin attack, but one pin was still standing. Knuckles stepped up to take his turn and said nice try. He then grabbed Tails and threw him with all of his strength getting the last pin down for a perfect strike. The gang cheered as they finished their game of bowling. Afterwards, they decided to go out for some ice cream on the curb. Outside, Knuckles couldn't be stopped. He ended up eating hundreds of ice cream cones in no time. The others warned him he would be sick if he kept it up, but Knuckles insisted that nothing could stop him from enjoying every bite of deliciousness. Just then they noticed something strange happening on televisions in a nearby shop window. 
There was an urgent breaking news report being broadcasted across all channels proclaiming a small black hedgehog was involved in a hit and run incident. Shadow the Hedgehog. Without saying another word, Sonic took off running towards where Shadow was last seen before anyone else had even registered what happened. Knuckles and Tails exchanged glances before taking off after their friend without hesitation, determined to help bring justice back into balance yet again. As they began to chase after their friend, Knuckles began to feel queasy, throwing up all over the street. Go on without me, he yelled. Shadow the Hedgehog roared through the city on his motorcycle, feeling the wind whip through his fur and a sense of freedom that he had never quite experienced before. He was living life on the edge and taking risks like never before. This was what it meant to be alive. Suddenly, out of nowhere, Sonic the Hedgehog crashed into him with a loud thud. Shadow looked up in shock, only to see Sonic standing over him with an air of superiority about him. It's like looking in a gothic mirror, Sonic said smugly as he gazed down at Shadow. Shadow felt anger boiling up from within him. How dare Sonic treat him like this? In one swift motion, he jumped to his feet and charged towards Sonic. It was a battle that no one in the world had ever seen before. Sonic and Shadow were fighting, their fists flying, as they battled for supremacy. It seemed like there could be no victor until Shadow suddenly gained the upper hand, dodging Sonic's attacks with ease and landing powerful blows of his own. Sonic was starting to tire out, but he valiantly kept going determined to prove himself against this powerful foe. Just then, a familiar voice shouted from above them, Wait, stop. It was Tails who had flown up to intervene in the fight between his two friends. But it was too late. Shadow unleashed an attack that sent Tails crashing down into the ground below. Sonic immediately ran over to check on him but found that Tails was unconscious. Sonic reluctantly backed off and allowed Shadow to escape while he attended to Tails. Just then Knuckles arrived at the scene, though looking rather sickly as if he weren't feeling well at all. He looked around nervously before turning towards Sonic with a guilty expression on his face. The camera pans over an office building that simply reads gun. We know them as the guardian units of nations. Commander Walters spoke slowly and deliberately. We are outnumbered and underpowered when it comes to the new threat, Shadow the Hedgehog. He continued explaining the situation in detail while everyone listened intently. Just then a young intern burst through the doors with an urgent message for Commander Walters. Everyone held their breath as they watched him whisper something into her ear before stepping back out of sight again without making a sound. Commander Walters nodded. Just then there was a knock at the door that silenced all conversation instantly. Commander Walters' voice broke through once more, led him and he said firmly but kindly. Agent Stone burst through the door. He looked as if he hadn't slept in days and smelled of sweat and dirt. Commander Walters asked what was going on and why he shouldn't have him arrested as one of Robotnik's boys. Agent Stone revealed that Robotnik was dead and tears welled up in his eyes. After taking a few deep breaths, Agent Stone composed himself and declared that he wanted revenge against those responsible for killing Robotnik. Before his death, Agent Stone said, that Robotnik had been working on a creation created for the sole purpose of killing a hedgehog, something no one else could do or even knew existed yet. Everyone around Commander Walters gasped at this news, particularly when Agent Stone then led them all outside to an old truck plastered with photos of him and Robotnik's face. Opening its doors revealed none other than Metal Sonic. Sonic's heart ached as he walked into his bedroom. Knuckles looked up at Sonic from where he was standing next to Tails' bed. His eyes were filled with sadness and regret. There was no need for words between them. Sonic knew exactly why Knuckles had called him home because of their beloved friend who now lay before them comatose due to injuries sustained while fighting Shadow. Sonic couldn't contain himself any longer. Anger surged through him and without warning, he shouted at Knuckles blaming him for what happened to Tails. Knuckles tried desperately to calm down Sonic, but it seemed like nothing could reach past all the pain that coursed through both of them right now, so instead, Knuckles simply explained that once Tails was better, they would work together as a team and stop Shadow once and for all, no matter how dangerous it might seem at first glance. As much as Sonic wanted justice for what happened today, deep down inside he still feared putting anyone else in harm's way, so instead of allowing Knuckles, or anyone else come with him on this mission against Shadow. Sonic stated firmly that he would go alone even though Knuckles clearly wanted to join forces with him one more time. Stay here, Sonic said quietly, and watch over my friend until I get back. 
With those parting words echoing in between them, the blue hedgehog turned around and left leaving behind an empty room full of unstated sorrows. Shadow the hedgehog had been walking down a hallway of an unknown military facility when suddenly security alarms screeched throughout the building. He could hear footsteps running in his direction, and he knew they would be coming for him. In one swift move, Shadow managed to rush past all of the officers and grabbed their weapons away from them before they even got close enough to tase him. He picked up one of the guns and examined it closely, as if it were some sort of toy or trinket that he was interested in buying, but then quickly shook his head disapprovingly as if a gun was really his style. That's when one particular officer pulled out a real handgun, with a bullet rushing toward Shadow in slow motion. The sight provoked something within him, panic began to set in his memories from the past started flashing through his mind, particularly those involving Maria Robotnik, who had been taken away from him. Suddenly everything came into focus. CHAOS CONTROL! A huge blast of chaos energy radiated outward, knocking everyone off their feet, including himself. For a second, Shadow looked shocked and guilty. He couldn't believe what he had done, but he quickly shook that from his mind. He had a mission and he would complete it. Shadow didn't have much time to think as he was suddenly interrupted by a voice. The ultimate life form, the mysterious voice said. Planks of metal pounded on the floor. The mysterious figure came into focus. It was none other than Metal Sonic. Shadow looked at the symbol on the robot's chest plate. It was Gun, the organization that took his sweet Mario. Shadow proclaimed he would look forward to this. Shadow stood ready, fists clenched and legs prepared to move. Metal Sonic had already launched into action before Shadow could even react. He was a blur of metal and lightning fast reflexes. It seemed like no matter how hard Shadow tried, he couldn't make any headway against Metal Sonic's superior speed and strength. He had to think of something fast or it would be game over for him. Suddenly, from out of nowhere came a familiar sound, the unmistakable whistle of Sonic the Hedgehog speeding towards them at breakneck speeds. With a loud thud, he landed right between them, creating an impenetrable barrier that kept Shadow and Metal Sonic apart. Without wasting another second, Sonic charged towards Shadow, and the duel began. Metal Sonic watched with artificial amusement. While Shadow and Sonic ran on emotions, Metal Sonic had none. Suddenly, Shadow delivered a powerful blow that sent Sonic flying across the arena. He crashed into a wall with a loud thud and lay still on the floor. Metal Sonic approached him, lifting him up and repeatedly slamming his body against the hard concrete floor beneath them. Each time he did this, it became harder for anyone around to watch as it became more apparent that there was no life left in poor little blue hedgehog's body. Shadow stood watching from afar but then something inside of him stirred and he suddenly remembered Maria, her kind smile and sweet laugh when she used to play with him all those years ago before everything happened. He felt so helpless at that moment, unable to do anything about the recurring thought. Or could he? Then without thinking twice, he ran towards them, yelling out, CHAOS CONTROL! In an instant, they were both gone, teleported away somewhere else, leaving behind Metal Sonic in silence in its wake. Where did they go? That is yet unknown, however, one thing is certain. Shadow just saved a life today. Sonic slowly came to in the middle of a forest, his vision blurred and head pounding. He looked around, trying to make sense of where he was and how he got there. Eventually, the scenery began to clear, and Sonic could see that there was a small fire crackling not far away. Sitting by it, looking solemnly at him, was Shadow the Hedgehog. Instinctively, Sonic's body tensed up as he considered attacking his rival. But before he could move, Shadow spoke up. You know why I'm here, right? Startled by the sudden words from Shadow so soon after coming to consciousness, Sonic paused for a moment before responding with an uncertain what do you mean. A look of understanding crossed over Shadow's face as if this had been some kind of test for him and since Sonic passed it then perhaps they could talk without violence erupting between them anytime soon. Nodding slightly in approval, Shadow told Sonic about Maria's death at GUN's hands and their past together on the arc which led to his creation as well as revealing his mission. Throughout all this time while speaking nothing more than shock registered across Sonic's features, until finally when Shadow reached a hand out to him with an offer, help fight against Metal Sonic together despite their differences. Only then did emotions start boiling within him again turning into anger as he knocked Shadow's hand away harshly saying that while sympathetic towards Shadow's plight due to Maria, he couldn't bring himself work alongside someone who'd hurt Tails so much. Sonic cracks his neck and runs away. Back at the Wachowski residence, Tails was still in a coma since his last battle with the enemies. One day, something strange happened. 
Tails suddenly woke up from his deep sleep and shouted Sonic. Knuckles was shocked that he was awake again, but quickly realized why. He must have known about Knuckles' plan to purchase more ice cream despite the trouble and tribulations it previously caused. Tails immediately asked where Sonic is and if he's hurt. Knuckles sadly explained what had happened, how Sonic left without them, and wasn't coming back anytime soon. Despite this though, Tails didn't give up hope on finding him. Instead, he determinedly declared that they should go look for him right away. He quickly prepared their ship so they could travel into space and find Sonic as fast as possible before it would be too late. Tails and Knuckles were about to take off in the plane to search for their missing friend, Sonic the Hedgehog. Tails pondered out loud, if I were Sonic, where would I be? Suddenly, a familiar voice called out from behind them saying, you don't have to look any further. It was Sonic. The friends rushed up to one another and embraced each other with manly hugs and kisses. After they settled down, Sonic apologized for not trusting his friends or believing in them enough. He said that things would change now that he was back and together they'd work as a team no matter what happened. Tails happily agreed while Knuckles put his fist on top of theirs in agreement. They all took off together into the sky with new determination, determined never again to let anything come between them ever again. Shadow the Hedgehog had been searching for days, trying to find the Guardian Unit of Nations' main headquarters. Finally, after hours of walking, Shadow finally arrived at his destination. Suddenly, Metal Sonic appeared from nowhere. Shadow used all his skills, and agility to try and take on Metal Sonic, but it was no use. Metal Sonic kept getting better with every move while Shadow just couldn't seem to keep up. The fight went on for minutes that felt like hours as Shadow desperately tried to stay alive against this powerful foe. Shadow is hit with a laser beam that would be enough to kill a weaker species. Metal Sonic walks toward Shadow, ready to land the killing blow. But just then, as if by fate itself, Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails appeared from around the corner. They immediately rushed into battle. With their combined efforts, they were able to put enough distance between them so that Metal Sonic could not land a killing blow on either one of them. An impressive feat considering how powerful the robot was. The fight was intense, and they had been pushed to the brink of defeat. Shadow lay dazed on the floor, his energy drained from trying to stop this menace. Metal Sonic was proving too powerful for them as he knocked Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles away with ease. He began to gloat about his victory over them, saying that his mission was complete before transforming into a destruction mode, which would surely mean death for all those present. Self-destruct initiated. Have a nice day. The countdown timer began to beep. As his self-destruct mechanism activated, it became clear that everyone in the vicinity wouldn't survive unless something drastic was done fast. That's when Sonic stepped up. He knew what needed to be done, even though it meant sacrificing himself and ran faster than ever toward the bomb while time seemed to stand still around him like some kind of surreal dream sequence. He hit Metal Sonic's self-destruct form head on just as it was about to explode and sent them hurtling towards each other before rocketing off into the horizon together in a blaze of light. An eerie silence fell over their surroundings as smoke began billowing from where they disappeared into the sky. Then suddenly there came a loud boom followed by a huge mushroom cloud rising up above them, marking what would be remembered as Sonic's final act of bravery, sacrificing himself so that others may live. The world mourned for three whole days after learning about this tragic loss. We see Tails, Knuckles, and the Wachowskis at Sonic's funeral. A few weeks later, Knuckles and Tails stood at the gravestone of their beloved friend, Sonic. They had come to pay their respects, but were soon interrupted by a familiar figure emerging from the shadows. It was Shadow. He moved towards them slowly, with an air of mystery about him. Knuckles immediately squared up to him ready for a fight while Tails stood in shock, memories flooding back of all they'd been through together in the past. What do you want? Knuckles spat out angrily as he stepped forward protectively in front of Tails. Shadow paused for a moment before responding calmly, I have something that you'll need. Reaching into his pocket, he pulled out an object that glowed brightly under its glass casing. It was a time stone. The credits begin to roll. Monsters, tell me do you believe in those monsters? I'm talking dreams so big that they are haunch, or they are common. That's how you know if you gotta go and get it, get to win and not conquer. I had to go out and get it without a sponsor. Kept it real, never crooked, yeah, that's honor. Now I can go out and get it how I want to. Hashtag bless, I choose.
credits roll, an end credit scene appears. Tails and Knuckles stepped cautiously into Sonic's old bedroom. The room was eerily silent, as if every last trace of their friend had been sucked away in an instant. They both knew why they were here, to try and find a way to bring Sonic back from the afterlife. Knuckles nervously cleared his throat before speaking up. Well, here goes nothing. A bright flash of white light enveloped the room, and suddenly, they found themselves transported to a completely different dimension. It was beautiful, a grassy landscape that seemed untouched by any form of destruction or decay. Before either of them could contemplate where exactly they were, a figure appeared in front of them. It was none other than Silver the Hedgehog. I heard you need my help, he proclaims. AI script writer. Disengaging. We hope you enjoyed your experience. Do come back again soon. So, how do you think our AI scriptwriter did? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment below and let us know what other upcoming movies you want to see predicted by AI. Until next time. Monsters, tell me, do you believe in those monsters?